As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we just do it. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant we pray that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth, the things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy, and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exalt in my people. No longer shall be sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not rout out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a, a, a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred, a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in their houses they build, and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will exhort you, O Lord, for you drew me clear, and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the nether world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued, rescued me. me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his good grill. A nightfall weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into a dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your you. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, where Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. And when he, and when he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. 
Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, The fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Our Lord says, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. And then in the Gospel, the royal official, trusting in God's word, trusting in the words of Jesus, returned home. But in between that time of him leaving Jesus and encountering his slaves, he was left, in a sense, in a type of darkness. He only had the light of faith, he had the light of that trust, that confidence in God, that hope that what his petition was to Christ would be heard and be granted. Sometimes for ourselves, in the way that we pray, in the way that we live, we feel like we're constantly asking God for things. We constantly feel like that we're looking for something deeper, that something, there's no real validation of our desires or what we're looking for. But then it finally comes. For the royal official, it came through his slaves, the ones who revealed that your son is actually recovering. And then by meditation, the royal official discovered that it was actually Christ who had been healing his son even when he himself did not understand or did not know it. God is providential. God does hear our prayers. He does grant our petitions even though we may not see it. One of the great spiritual insights that we get from St. John of the Cross and St. Teresa of Avila is this confidence and obedience and trust in God. The obedience and the confidence that we have in God do not always bring wisdom with it, but they are wise actions because we are open to seeing how God in his grace works. It is effective. It is present in the world. And many times we can be like this royal official on his way home before he meets his slaves. We may not see God's hand immediately, but eventually we will. And when we do, we will suddenly be awestruck and wonder at the marvels of God's wisdom, who had always been there, who has been answering our prayers. We just did not have the eyes to see it. The liturgy, the prayers of the church, train us for that. Let us walk with confidence in the prayers of the church consistently joining ourselves spiritually each and every day to the sacrifices that are offered, Christ himself who gives himself to the Father for us. Because by his prayer and by his wounds, we are continually healed. With confidence in the providential care of our Heavenly Father, we offer our needs and our petitions. God of power and mercy, give us the spirit of prayer and of repentance, with burning love for you and for all mankind. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Help us to work with you in making all things new in Christ 
and in spreading justice and peace throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Teach us the meaning and value of creation, so that we may join it, its voice to ours as we sing your praise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Forgive us for failing to see Christ in the poor, the distressed, and the troublesome, and for our failure to, to revengeance your Son in their persons. For our failure to reverence your Son in their persons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you granted the petition of the royal official. Grant us the same perseverance and faith that we may behold your healing grace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and be renewed by growth and heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you do take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
I will place my spirit within you and make you walk according to my laws. And my judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord. The act of spiritual communion. My, my Jesus, Jesus, I, I believe, believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. sacrament. I, I love, love you above all, all things, and, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new. And by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke me, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.